Now join with Guru Gadar English lesson today, specially designed for grade 8 students. And I am glad to have my colleague Ms. Priyadarshini with me today. Hello Ms. Priyadarshini. Hello Samadhi. I am glad too to be with you and our dear children. So, do you like games? Of course I like games. Are you going to do a game? Oh yes, I am ready for a game. Okay. So, dear children, with my colleague, we are going to do a, play a little game. So, in today's game, what's going to happen is, I am going to describe an object for you. Uh -huh. So, to make it easy, there are some pictures that you can see on the screen. So, there's a bed, bedroom, bird house where the birds live, broom, bottle, a blender, a bucket, a freezer and a fork. So, I'm going to describe one of these objects. Okay. I'm going to describe its color, size and what it is made of. You have to guess what the object is. Let's try. Okay, here we go. So, the first object I'm going to describe is, okay, it is cylinder in, yeah, it's kind of like a cylinder in shape and it is made of, most of the time it is made of plastic and we use it to carry water, uh -huh. especially when we go to school. I guess it's the water bottle. Correct, it is water bottle, well done, well done. So, here we go, the next one. Mm. We use these, well, the shape, it is square in shape. Okay. And it is made of metal. Mm -hmm. And we use it to store frozen items so we can keep it for a long time. Any guesses? Yes, uh, I think it is the freezer. Correct, you got that correct. It's a freezer. Nice. I hope our children got the correct answer as well. Of course. Okay, here we go. This is the last one. Right. Okay, in here, we can, just like we live in our houses, this is a place which is built for birds, made of wood. It is easy. A birdhouse? Correct, it is a birdhouse. So children, I hope that you got the correct answer just like my colleague, well done. So today, we are going to learn how to describe objects. So to describe objects, I was talking about the size, the color, what is it made of? So there are several things we can talk about. As you can see on the screen, there are several things we can talk about when describing objects. We yes. can talk about its color, the size, we go small, the shape, special parts. For example, wings, paws, legs. Where is it found? The place actually, in a classroom, at the beach side, the category. How does it feel? When you touch it, when you hold it, what it does and what is it made of. So using these, we can describe an object. So shall we take one by one? Okay. Okay then, the first thing, size, shape and colour. So we can describe the object's appearance by describing its colour, shape and size. So Ms. Priyadarshini, what are the words that we use to describe sizes? We can use uh, small medium size, big, very big, large, enormous. Correct. Okay. Yes, yes, there are a lot as you can see, small, medium, large and there's many more. So children, when you are describing about the size of an object, you can follow the sentence pattern that you can see. You can start your sentence with the pronoun it, then add is and you can use the word to describe the size. For example, it is big. Oh, it is small. So next, we are talking about the shape of the object. So, Miss Priyadarshini, what are the shapes that you know? Yes, uh, I can see here the circle, triangle, rectangle, ellipse and square. Correct. And you have shown some objects also oh, with yeah. the same shapes, right? Oh, yes. So, children can see that the objects have these shapes as well. So, children, this is the point. You can't exactly say, okay, my bun is triangle shape. You can't say like that. You have to use the adjective form of the shape here. We call them shape adjectives. So, the circle becomes circular. circular. Triangle becomes? Triangular. Rectangle. Rectangular. rectangular. 
ellipse become elliptical, elliptical and the square square exactly we don't do any change there we use the same word for the shape adjective and when you want to describe the shape of an object you can always follow the sentence button the name of the object use one of the helping verbs is a and the shape adjective then finally you have to ask the phrase in shape for an example the orange is circular in shape the orange is circular in shape so children remember when you have to describe a sentence you have to use sentences now today's lesson we are teaching you how to write these simple sentences so it is important you write down these structures so it will help you to continue practicing how to write sentences then miss priyadarshini what is your favorite color purple of course wow such a coincidence mine is purple too so as you like purple colors yes. i have a purple butterfly on the screen okay you chose it for me oh yes hope you like it yes so how about the other colors that you can see on the screen i can see the sun in yellow mm -hmm. apple in red yes monkey in brown is oh, that yes. a monkey yes it's a monkey rainbow mm -hmm. with rainbow colors exactly the tree in green pig in pink we have white egg and yes. a, and a gray robo yes correct so children as you can see the objects can have different colors so when we are describing about the color how can we write a sentence down we can simply follow the structure the name of the object the helping verb is or are and the name of the color and just add in color at the end of the sentence as you can see in the example the van is blue in color the van is blue in color another example my colleague priyadarshini miss her saree is red in color so miss priyadarshini shall we do a small activity okay we are ready okay children so now you have to write sentences about the objects that you can see on the screen describing about their size the shape and the color as you can see the first one it's a balloon we can start off saying this is a balloon then you can describe about the size miss priyadarshini how can we do that it is big it is big and we can talk about the shape it is elliptical in shape and the color it is orange in color correct so children i want you to write sentences describing the next object that you can see Mhm. Mm I guess we are ready. Okay. So this is a book. It is big. How about the shape and the color? It is rectangular in shape. Correct. It is blue in color. Nice. And next one is a flower. So children we do this together. Miss Priyadarshini. Okay. This is a flower. It's small. It is circular in shape. It is yellow in color. Exactly. Correct. so i hope our students have got the correct answers as well next we are talking about the function of an object function in the sense why are we using that specific object for for an example we can use a scissor to cut papers and we can mm -hmm. use the crayons why do we use crayons for to color exactly we can use a phone to make calls and as that we can simply say we use a jacket to keep us warm So yes. when we write such a sentence when we are talking about the function of an object we can always start our sentence with the article a and the and the name of the object and we can use to and after to children you can use the verb for example we use a jacket to keep us warm likewise we use food to keep us healthy yes we use the knife to cut things exactly so it likewise i want you to write sentences describing the function of the objects that you can see as we can the first one see in the first one we can say we use a spoon to stir a mixture we use a spoon to stir a mixture how about the next one miss priyadarshini shall we do it together with our children okay children are you ready mm -hmm. okay next we have a knife We use a knife to cut vegetables. Correct. And we use a car to travel. Okay. And how about the pen? We use the pen to write. Exactly. Correct. 
And next we have the toothbrush. We use the toothbrush to brush teeth. Yes, we use a toothbrush to clean our teeth. And we use a comb to make our hair tidy. tidy. Correct. I hope our children are using combs to make their hair tidy. So that's how you talk about the function of an object. Then we are going to talk about the material, the weight and the texture and the price. Well, to add more information, we can say the material that the object is made of. For example, the polythene yes. bag. What it's is made it? of plastic. Exactly. Polythene. polythene. The polythene bag is made of polythene. polythene. Correct. And how about the television at home? I'm sure you are watching Guru Gedara on your television. So it is made of metal and plastic. And plastic. Exactly. So when you want to describe about the material the object is made of, you can always follow the sentence pattern. The name of the object is a well, if your object is singular, you can use the helping verb is. If your object is plural, in meaning you can use the helping verb are, then made of and the material. The polythene bag is made of polythene. So next, shall we do another small activity? Okay. So our children will learn how to write a perfect article describing the material it is made of. So the first one, children, the shoes are made of leather. The shoes are made of leather. We'll give them some time to write these okay. sentences. Okay. Oh, I hope the time is enough. We'll right. just discuss the answers together. Next, we have a chair. What do you think about the chair? Chair is made of wood. wood. Exactly. And what is next? It's a, is it a pan? Exactly. It's a pan. A pan is made of metal. metal. Exactly. And next one, you can see a beanie. Have you ever been to New Aurelia, Miss Priyadarshan? Yes, of course. I love being to New Aurelia. Right? It is cold, right? Yes, very so cold. So, have you ever worn a beanie on yes, your hair? Yes. Yes. So, children, you can see a beanie there with a shawl and gloves, mufflers. What are they made of? They made of fur. Exactly. Next, we have a book, and the book is made of paper. And the last one, tire. Tire is made of rubber. Yeah. So, next, we'll go through okay. some more. Well, we have a shirt and the shirt is made of cotton and the buildings are made of concrete. Nice. And the spectacles are made of glass. Finally, we have a bucket. The bucket is made of plastic. Exactly. So, when you want to describe the material of the object, you can follow this simple sentence pattern. Then, when it comes to describing object, you learn that we can describe about the size, we can describe about the color, we can describe about the shape as well. And finally, we can talk about the material. Now what you can see, there is a television in the middle of the screen. If we are going to talk about, describe about this object, the television, first we can talk about the color. What color is it? Ms. Pradarshini, what can possibly be your answer? We can say blue, red, red, black, green, silver, golden, Brown exactly. or purple. Yes, it is brown in color. Then we can talk about the material. What is it made of? We can say wood, plastic, plastic, metal. Exactly. Leather, rubber, clay, cotton. We can use, talk about the material. It is made of plastic. plastic. Then we can talk about the purpose. What is it used for? So, the best example, television. Why are we using the television for? To watch news. Exactly. To watch Guru To Gedara. watch Guru Gedara. Exactly. Yes. And we can use for different objects for different purposes. Then we can talk about the invention. You know the meaning of the word invention? That means when it was found. For hmm. example, television. It was found by John, John Logibert. So you can talk about the year it was invented and the name of the inventor. Then we have the size, how big it is, tiny, small. And then we can go to the shape. We learn a lot of shape yes. and shape adjectives today. You can use them. And we can talk about other information, whether it is portable, stylish, stylish waterproof, heavy, disposable, useful, old, old-fashioned. Yes, we can use those words to yes. describe other information additional information. 
and now you know how to describe an object, we will just go to an example. If I ask you to describe this television, I know that you will write something similar to the answer that you can see on the screen. Let me read it for you. It is a nice big rectangular television set. It is made of glass, copper and plastic. It is used for watching movies, the news, soap operas, quiz programs. Television was invented by John Logie Baird in 1925. So, if you what can, a lot of information that we got about it, the television. Exactly. Now our children know how to write these sentences yes. because they know the structure. So, finally, this activity is for you, children. Now, I'm pretty sure that you can fill in the blanks and write a small description about the TV. Well, I have my TV here. You can write about your TV at home. We'll give you some time to do that. I guess they are already done. Okay. Okay. We'll check the answers together. So, it is a big, big television. Exactly. It is what's the shape? Rectangular in shape. It is rectangular in shape and it is brown in color. Exactly. And I thought of helping our children now. So, I already put the answer there. It is made of glass. Exactly. It is made of glass and sometimes it is made of glass and plastic and it is used to watch Cartoons, news, Guru Gedara. Exactly. And there are many more. Exactly. So children, this is how we describe about an object. You can start off with the size, then you can go to the shape, then you can talk about the color, then you can talk about the material it is made of, then finally you can talk about why are we using that for, the purpose or the intention of the object. So now you know how to write a small description about any object and uh, I am pretty sure that our lesson helped you today. And before we find up our lesson today, I want to remind you, you learned about how to describe about object and object using simple sentences. And here you can talk about the size using the words tiny, tiny small, big, medium, big, enormous. Exactly. Like and that. you can talk about the colors. Use different Red, goods. yellow, blue. Exactly. Anything. And we can talk about the shape using shape adjectives. Yes. Circular, square in shape, rectangular. rectangular. And then we can talk about the material it is made of. Whether it is wood, leather, metal, glass, glass, plastic as well. So, using these words you can write a simple sentence to describe each feature. And if you miss the today's lesson, I am pretty sure you are watching the lesson with your teacher and your classmates. But if you miss the lesson accidentally, you can always watch it back in our YouTube channel NIE. And I'm glad that I had a chance to talk with you today. And until we meet again, Miss Priyadarshani. Yes. Okay, children. We'll meet again in another interesting lesson. Until then, goodbye.